I'm Pastor Chuck McEwen, and we are relocating our food pantry to this warehouse facility on State Street in Holly Hill. We are in need of relocating because we're going to be building a building on the current site of the food pantry. So we're excited about this move. We're going to take you on a little tour and show you the inside and what's going to be going on here. The cool thing about this building is it's 4,000 square feet. The best thing about it is it's air conditioned. So we'll be able to sort and pack our food boxes here. Our plan is to put a freezer in here, a walk-in freezer and also a cooler. And uh, this four areas where we will pack the boxes and load the trucks as we uh, get ready to hand out food to a lot of people. What we're gonna do is uh, stack our product that will need to be sorted and loaded over on the south wall here on my left. And uh, then we will also, once the boxes are packed, bring them over on this side of the building. These uh, wooden shelves were put in here by the previous tenant. We're gonna take them out and put steel shelves in so that we can go three tier high on steel shelving uh, to pack our product, to stow it. And uh, we will bring the trucks in here, load them, and then distribute at a couple of different remote locations. Yeah, we, Second Harvest requires us to have uh, refrigeration for the refrigerated products, of course. So we're going to be transforming this corner in the back back there and building a brand new, probably at least 10 by 20 foot freezer, walk-in, and uh, we'll, we'll be transferring the current walk-in refrigerator into the other side over here. We got to have the refrigeration because the product needs to be cooled. The reason we're relocating is because we're expanding the ministry of the church. We need to use that property for the ministry Pantry ministry has been located all these years. We need to use that to build a multi purpose building. So that's the main reason that we need to relocate now. And uh, we have been blessed by God to make sure that the, the lease payment is covered, but we need to raise some money to do a couple of other things. As Chuck mentioned, we need to build a walk in freezer, also to relocate our cooler, and uh, we need to buy another forklift. So there are some things that we need to do as well as. Uh, you know, just relocate the things that we have here. We're going to have to, we're going to have to purchase a few things. But this facility makes it possible for us all, for all of our workers to be in one location. We're not going to be crowded where we are now. It's very difficult to move product around when people are working. This is a tremendous step up for us, and uh, we just continue to see the pantry ministry expand, and uh, we'll continue. I think to see that happen. We're, we're really excited about being here. As we mentioned, you know, the, the pantry program has always been a program in change. If you look back when we first started, we were operating out of a trailer on the grass with a table. So it's constant evolution to something that's really wonderful like this. I'm a volunteer. This is nice digs. This is a great digs. This is a great place. The climate control is a big deal because it's just so hot outside in the summer. Uh, you gotta, you gotta get in out of that heat, and sun, and leaves. The leaves shake. But here we got common control. It's gonna be good. One of the advantages of being here is that I think we can get some volunteers from other ministries, other churches, to come and help us. As Bill was saying, one of the things that we've been dealing with is the heat. And during the summertime, it's very difficult to pack these boxes outside. But in this building, where it's air conditioned, I think we'll probably have a little bit more response from other churches to come in and give us a hand. I'm excited about that.